Yo, welcome back everybody to a brand new PDCGO video, and today guys, we're going to be looking at another deck that I have built here on PDCGO, a new idea that I've made, and this is going to be Garbodor Toro Salamence deck. So basically, this is a weird idea, and it's a fun idea that I've made up, and I'm going to see how well it does. There's a lot of cool options and cool cards in this deck that I think can make it work. And hopefully I can show off a new card that I added in this deck that I haven't seen a lot of, but I definitely think could be a pretty powerful card coming down. Like, I, I could see decks playing one of these in their deck, and we'll talk about that in a minute. But anyways, guys, if you go on to enjoy the video, leave a like on it, and also, guys, leave a comment down below what you thought of the deck. I would love to know. So anyways, guys, here we go. Let's get into the deck. So I like making rogue ideas. I love making new rogue decks. I've done them in the past, you know. I had my Salamence Dragons Garbodors of Striker deck. I had my Cuntail Dragons deck. I even had my Lunala Walls deck. I am like making rogue decks. So this one is another rogue deck I've made. So it revolves around using Salamence as one of your main attackers. So right now in standard, there are a ton of decks that play a lot of EXs. Obviously, you have their GX decks, which we'll talk about in a minute. But Beastly Fang is amazing against Mewtwo Y, Volcanion, Mega Rayquaza. Even decks like Turbo Darkrai that have that's going to play a lot of EXs on their bench. Decks that have a bunch of EXs in play, Salamence is here to destroy them. So we got two of them in the deck. Again, this is like one of your main-ish attackers in the deck. So we got two Sallies. We do run three Tauros. It's a lot of Tauros, but Tauros is one of your main attackers. Also, uh, obviously what you can do with Tauros is just sit back and let your Tauros take damage with, um, you know, Rage, and then maybe set up a Mad Bolt GX. Um, but it's mainly just a walling card, and that's kind of why we got three of them. I know three is a lot, but I think three is a good amount. Also, we got Ninja Boy to work with Tauros, so I'm going to play a total of three. Uh, again, if you're playing against a deck that doesn't play many EXs, Tauros is a great option, because Salamence is useless against decks that don't play EXs. We don't, we're never going to use Dragon Strike if we play zero water energy, so we are going to be using Tauros most of the time. Now, another good thing about this deck is your two Lugias. Lugia, one of your main attackers, also more or less a backup attacker. You're never really going to need this as your main attacker, but we're playing two of them. It's a good card to have um, again matchups where your opponents have a lot of energy in play and stuff like that. We are going to play a total of two of these in the deck. It's good against maybe like, I don't know, Passimian or something, where like you can kind of wall them with your resistance and use Arrow Ball over and over. So we are going to be playing two Lugias. It's one of your main attackers in the deck, and it's another card, I guess, you can use to kind of assault your opponent. So those are your three main attackers, Lugia, Tauros, and Salamence. Now we're going to get into the side cards. Actually, yeah, before actually, hold on, before we do that, we're going to go into the Garbodor. So we got 2-2 Garbodor. Obviously, he's in here for Garbotoxin, shutting off abilities. There's a cool card in this deck that we're going to be using with Garbodor that's going to make it a lot better. So we'll talk about that in a minute. But we'll talk about our tech card, I guess. We do run a single copy of Espeon EX. This is a weird card. We're not actually using it for Psy Shock, we're using it for Miraculous Shine. And basically why we're doing this is we're going to de-evolve our Pokemon. This is great against Evolution decks. Now, decks like Vespaquin, I don't think you're never going to need this because de-evolving Vespaquin doesn't help you. It's maybe put more Pokemon to discard if they, touch, if they discard those things that you got back. But also, it, you know... Doesn't work against that's good because you're going to one-shot them most of the time. It's really good, however, against GX decks. This is kind of why we play a single copy. If we get into a situation where we can use Miraculous Shine, we can actually use it as a way to de-evolve our opponent's Pokemon and take a prize that way. This could be good, say, against uh, Decidueye. Say when you're playing against like a Decidueye deck, they put a float on Decidueye, you have at least 80-70 damage on that Decidueye. They retreat that Decidueye to a new Decidueye, you hit that Decidueye. Well, then you can come in and Miraculous Shine and kind of just take out all of those Decidueyes and then leave them with two Decidueyes in their hand and you just took out their Rowlets and Daytrixes. This is a really good card in that deck, and I really do like having the Espeon in this deck. It's a good late-game sweeper against GX-based decks or even Evolution decks in general. Maybe Greninja could be good. Just any deck that plays Evolutions, other than Vespaquin, I guess, this card is a great card to just come in late game and just sweep your opponent. So we got one of these. It's great against Evolution decks. Just clear the board of those Evolutions, take them all out, and this way, if 
you know, they can't really be like, oh, well, if you knock this evolution out, I was going to bring up this evolution and attack you with this. Well, then we're going to take out both of them, thanks to Miraculous Shine. So it's going to be a nice idea. I'm just trying it out. I haven't seen many people use Espeon GX yet, as it's a cool GX counter card. Obviously, not all GX, but evolution decks, we're going to try out Espeon. Again, I'm trying this out as a tech card. I don't think, you know... It's not going to be used in a lot of situations. I mean, maybe against Mega Dex, too. You never know, right? So we are going to play a single copy of Espeon. And, yeah, we got two Shaman's Trossport. We're going to the items. There's a lot of important ones, ones in the deck. We do play two Escape Rope. I've seen a lot of decks up the Escape Rope mounts from going from, like, one Escape Rope to, like, two to even three in that Anaheim deck I covered. Um, so Or the Anaheim winning deck, sorry. So we are going to play two Escape Ropes. It's another great way around Garbodor. That's another reason why people tend to play more Escape Ropes. We're well, not Garbodor, Tauros, sorry. Escape Rope is really good at dealing with Tauros. Uh, instead of attacking Tauros, you can Escape Rope around the Tauros. That's one reason why we have Escape Rope in the deck. It'd be good there. Uh, we're going to run two of them anyways. You can always maybe throw in a Switch if you want. We got two Max Elixirs. Now, you're probably like, what the heck do you have Max Elixir in the deck for? You have two attackers that rely on DCE. What is the point of Max Elixir? Turn one, Beastly Fang. Okay, Beastly Fang just takes two turns to power up, right? Well, with Max Elixir, if we hit an energy, boom, we can try and do a turn one Beastly Fang. This is super important against those decks that tend to play a lot of EXs. If you kind of just sit back and build up your Salamence manually, it's not going to work out as well because they can easily lie standard up or do some other shenanigans, like, I don't know, Hammer. So, we are playing Max Elixir. It's a way to power up Salamence in one turn, so that we can do a turn with Beastly Fang and apply as much pressure as we can. So that's why we do run a single copy of Max Elixir. So yeah, or two Max Elixirs, not a single copy. One Nest Ball, obviously it's great to put Pokemon on your bench. One Special Charge, since, you know, we need it for these DCEs. Three Trainers Mail, since there are a lot of important cards in this deck that Mail could get. Four Ultra Ball for Searching. Four Versus Seeker for being able to get our supporters back. We do play an interesting amount of supporters. So we got one Faded Town. I couldn't really think of any stadiums. I didn't want to put Parallel City in the deck because if we make your opponent have less bench Pokemon, that could, you know, help them over them because Beastly Fang would do less damage. So we're going to be playing one Faded Town. Uh, I guess Parallel City wouldn't be bad. I, I don't know. I just went with Parallel uh, Faded Town. I couldn't... I mean, there's not enough room for any more stadiums, so I just threw in a Faded Town. I, you can only even take this out. I mean... It's good to have a counter stadium, though, in general, um, but A, it is what it is. We got one Karen. This is great against Vespaquin, because what I like doing with Karen is we use Karen against Vespaquin, and then when we have Garbodor in play, we shut down all their unknowns, all their clef keys, and by that point, they've probably gone through a ton of their ways to get Pokemon in their discard pile. So now we kind of just have this Karen that we just brought all them Pokemon back, so now their opponent is doing less damage with Vespaquin. This is, in my opinion, the best way to deal with Vespaquin is just tech in a single copy of Karen, especially with Garbodor, again, when you shut down all those Pokemon that they need, well, there you go. So we are going to be running a single copy of Karen in the deck, and yeah, we got two Lysander, bring stuff up, three and four Sigma Cross board. We do run one Ninja Boy. Ninja Boy, obviously, we're going to be using this to, you know, Ninja Boy into a Tauros, Mad Bull, GX, or maybe just Ninja Boy into a different attacker. It's like, hey, we've been losing using Lugia, well, let's Ninja Boy out Lugia into Salamence, and then go that way. Or, again, Ninja Boy into Tauros, or Ninja Boy into Espeon, and sweep out all those evolutions. Uh, yeah, we got one team Skulk run. So, you can either run Delinquent, you can run Professor Kyuki, but I decided to go with team Skulk. And I'm feeling like this card could be cool. I'm just trying it out. Again, I haven't really used many Team Skullgrams. And this is more of a beta version of the deck, I guess. I wouldn't really call this, like, the finished product, because it really isn't. Um, but we do run a Team Skullgram just for disruption. Maybe early game disruption. If we want to hold on to our hand, we can just do Team Skullgram early on. Kind of shut down energy, stuff like that. So we're going to play one of these in the deck. We're going to try it out. You can run Delinquent. You can run Professor Kyuki. Kyuki could be good, too. Uh, I don't know what you could take out. I mean, again, you could maybe take out Faded Town. You could take out, I don't know, a Male if you wanted to. You could take out a Lugia. You could take out a Tauros. If Espeon isn't working out, take out Espeon. But we're going to be playing Team Scar Run as a tech card. Kyuki, I think, is good in this deck, too, but I don't know. Uh, so yeah, we got three belts, three floats, belt giving our Pokemon more HP, more damage, three floats, stones for garbage, stuff like that. Four DCs, since most Pokemon in the deck need DC to attack. 
and then you run a total of six fire MP, just obviously for Salamence, and we're going to run a lot of them just for the ability with Max Elixir. That's why we have so many fire energies, because it works well with Max Elixir, because we need to hit Max Elixirs to do turn one piece of things, or just maybe Max Elixirs will do more damage with Arrow Ball. It's a good card. So we're going to be playing six fires. Might be a little overkill, but it's fine. We don't have Super on the deck, obviously we have Karen, so having more energies is better that way, because we might use Karen multiple times in one game. So there you go. This is my Toro Salamence Garbodor deck, and we're going to try it out here in PCGO, see if we can have some fun with it, and see if we can wreck our opponent, show off the deck a little bit, and uh, yeah, see you guys when we find a game. Okay guys, listen, I broke the rules a little bit, I mean I'll probably say in the video, or like put a text on screen that I removed Professor, uh, I added QK, I did end up adding one Professor QK in the deck, I know you're like, mm, breaking the rules, I took a Faded Town and I threw in Professor QK, I haven't, you know, used the deck at all yet, so I haven't used Faded Town, but I threw in a Professor QK. I'm still gonna try it out. I, I really do want to run a stadium though. I just didn't know what stadium to run. So I was just like, whatever, let's just throw in a Professor QQ in the deck. What's it gonna kill us? So there you go. I threw in QQ. Sue me. I don't really care. I took out a card. I threw in another card. Big whoop. But hey, we're gonna try it out, see how it works. And uh, we're playing against. I, I don't even know if it's gonna be Dark dark Ride Dragons because I didn't see any dark. I saw Colorless Psychic. And dragon. So maybe this is like Salamence? I don't know. It's gonna be interesting. So let's see. Alright, we lose the coin flip. Bit of a bummer. But again, if my opponent puts a bunch of the X's down, maybe we can do a turn one beastly fang. Alright, so we start with Trubbish and we get Shaman. I'm probably gonna have to do Sycamore. I might have to. I don't really want to, but I may have to, unless my opponent ends me. So hopefully we can top deck maybe like an S ball or Ultra Ball. I wanna get another Pokemon in play. So my opponent starts with Shaman, doesn't really tell me what he's running too much, but again, if this is like a Dark Ride Dragon's deck, this is fine. I mean, Dark Ride Dragons tend to have a lot of EXs in place, so there you go. So there's Ultra Ball, and let's find out. Nope, okay, this is actually going to be Mega Salamence from the looks of it. Okay, yeah, this is Mega Salamence. This is a matchup I'm kind of iffy about, because Beastly Fang is good, but when they set up Savage Wing, it's not good. So, yeah, we're going to have to try and limit the amount of VXs we put on our bench, too, just in case my opponent decides to do their beastly thing. Oh, no, it's Mega Ray. All right, never mind, man. Never mind, this is going to be Mega Ray. This, see, this is where the, uh, wait, is this, wait, is this going to be Mega Ray with Volcanion? Because I've seen a list on that where they use Steam Up to put Fires in the Discard. Or is this a Dragon Mega? I think it's a Dragon Mega Rayquaza. I, I don't think my opponent is playing Mega Rayquaza. I think it's Dragon Mega Ray. I think it is. Okay, my opponent is Switch. Okay. And they end me. Okay, you know what? If we can get a really good hand, I'm hoping Turn 1 Salamence would be beautiful. Let's see. Can we get it? No. We get an even worse hand. Great. Alright, no, this is Mega Ray, okay. Okay, I'm still kind of confused right now. My opponent plays Dragon Ray over the Colorless Ray, so I don't know what to expect. I mean, Colorless Ray is good. Okay, but they play through. I've seen three energies get discarded. Most Mega Ray lists only play four. Okay, so yeah, it is Dragon Mega Ray, but they have. Okay, they're playing Skyfield then, okay, that's fine. That is fine. And they pass. Okay, top deck gods. Nope, that's not what I'm looking for. Ninja Boy? I could potentially Ninja Boy Trubbish into Salamence. Or maybe, like... I don't know if I should do that, though. Because then I won't be able to do Beastly Fang. But I can kind of threat my opponent. I mean, I don't really think we're going to get attacked anytime soon. So I guess we'll do it. I mean, what's the worst that could happen? Okay, we'll do it. Whatever. YOLO. I don't think we'd be able to pull off a Max Elixir anyways, judging by the... Uh, judging by the Fire Energy we have in our hand. We'd only have four in our deck, so it'd be a little less um easy to get them. So Plus, it gives us more ways to do Shaman. So let's go Mail again. I'll take the N, I guess. If Shaman whiffs, which it could, we may as well do, use the N. So we'll go with that. See, this is where I wanted to run the Faded Town. Alright, we got a Lysander. Okay, 
Oh, this is so weird. I'm really thinking of just ultra balling away the fire and the end and then grabbing. I need. Next turn, I'm going to Lysander the Rayquaza and knock it out. So I'm just going to get rid of Garbodor and Fire Energy, and we'll grab, uh, we can even grab like another, uh, I mean, Trubbish is going to be really good at shutting down Rush Rams. Tauros, I don't think we're going to need. Espeon could be good down the road, because he plays, technically he plays Evolutions. I could grab another Shaman, I think I'll just grab Trubbish for now. Uh, we can even, we can see like an Escape Rope, maybe that would hurt, uh, so I think we'll pass, unless my opponent plays Hammers, which I highly doubt he does. We can Beastly Fang and knock out that Rayquaza next turn, which is the plan. So uh, maybe, yeah, we'll definitely go with that row. So Via Seeker, Fornan, never mind. Maybe we can get an Escape Rope. If we get Escape Rope and like a Float, we can force to knock out an EX on the bench. So that could definitely happen. Okay, there we go. Okay, that's a really good hand. Okay, that's even better. I will definitely take this hand. We can get rid of a lot of stuff. So this hand is perfect. This is a perfect hand. Alright, so he's going to build up that Mega Race, so we're going to have to build up that, we're going to have to knock out that Rayquaza with a Beastly Fang. Uh, but before we do that, we're going to have to kind of just dig a little bit, too. I just realized we don't have enough energy to attack the Salamence. He plays another EX down, be my guest. Totally not like I'm playing a deck that makes you want to have more EXs down. Uh, so yeah. Alright, just a pass. Nice. We didn't even do any Rush Ram, Sycamore top deck, come on, that is not what I'm looking for. We'll get rid of Sycamore, we'll get rid of Karen. And I think I'm just going to grab my other Salamence's prize, which is actually kind of big. I think I just grabbed Garboder then. We need to get the Salamence out of the prizes ASAP. I mean, we can risk the Lysander play. Again, if we don't hit DCE, that's not good. We could easily get knocked out next turn. If not, we'll, we'll just fall back with Escape Rope then. Alright, we'll, we'll, we'll Shaman, draw three. Oh, we didn't get the DCE. <sighs> okay, we'll float the guard then. That's rough. Um, well, we can Ninja Boy, maybe like grab Tauros. But again, he's going to be doing a lot of damage with that Mega Ray. Hmm. I mean, he could knock. Okay. Like, I'm thinking maybe like escape rope into shaman, or just do the sycamore. I'm. Just, I'll just do the sycamore. We gotta dig. He can't retreat thanks to Garbodor, So, yeah. All right. Nice. All right. This is actually fine. We'll play from a Tauros while we're at it. Get that onto the bench, I guess. And I think it's gonna pass. I'll just pass for now, I guess. Next turn, we'll Lysander out the Rayquaza and knock it out. He can't retreat unless he does switch, which he may play a couple copies of. I'm hoping Salamence survives a turn. Uh, yeah, it's... If, we, if only we were able to get a DCE off of the... Off of that. And it looks like he's gonna end us again. Dude, this dude does not want me to have a hand, man. Come on, alright. Can we find... We need either Via Seeker or Lysander... And we need an energy. Can we get it? All right. Okay, nice. We got it. We got it. We are all good. We get another Tauros. Tauros is good, but I don't know. So he's building that up. Place another Rayquaza. Holy. I don't even want to know how much damage Beastly Fang is doing. I really don't want to know. So yeah, I mean, this hand is perfect. All right, just an evolution. Uh, we're obviously destroying this thing. I kind of don't want to devote all this energy to Salamence, but I got a choice. So I guess we'll play Tauros down. It's not going to kill me. Alright, let's go with Max Elixir. Just burn it. And, okay, here we go. Via Seeker for Lysander. I wouldn't be surprised if he ends me again, though. But, hey. BC Fang. And then we can just do another knockout BC Fang, I guess. So, let's go. BC Fang knocking out this Mega Ray for a butt ton of dick. 370. Holy cow. So, I love Salamence. We can take two prizes. Can we find that last Salamence? We get a Lugia, which I don't really need. Ah, my opponent can see, so. Fair game. Fair game. But, hey, you know what? We... Won that game! Alright, nice. So you can kind of see, it's a cool it's a cool thing, you know, Salamence definitely puts in work. Alright, here we I go guess. guys, we're going to find another match with our deck, see how this goes, and uh, we'll see if my boy can come in clutch 
And as long as we play against those big EX decks, which looks like we're playing against a Mega Ray deck, which is another pretty good matchup. So let's go for the coin flip. Can we win it? We do. Nice. Alright, fine. So this is like most likely Mega Ray. I mean, he has Mega Ray sleeves, and you know, from the typing, it's pretty obvious it's Mega Ray, but oh, we actually get a pretty brutal hand. I mean, we can maybe do like a turn one team skull run, slow him down a little bit. But other than that, our hand is awful. This trainer's mail or top deck has to come in clutch in order for this hand to be good. But he actually starts Hydreigon, so this is not a Mega Ray deck then. Alright. So we get a. I guess we'll have to go for a Sigamore. We're gonna lose a bunch of important stuff, but whatever. We don't have a choice. We gotta lose a lot of stuff, but it's for the good of all. So let's go with Ultra Ball. We'll get rid of Espeon. We'll get rid of a Fire Energy. We'll grab Sally, I guess. So it looks like one is prized. Judging from what my opponent's playing, that's a little brutal. So my opponent might be recognizing me right now, which is pretty cool. So we'll pass. Next turn, we we do set up. I'll say hello, Kappa. So yeah, it looks like playing against one of these big, I mean, Hydreigon, obviously. This might actually be Mega Salamence, too. I mean, if he recognizes me, then he might be playing a Mega Salamence deck. He does end me, though, which is fine. I'll be, we're probably going to end him, but hey, you know what? It's all good. That counts as two of supporters. So cool. What hand do we get? I'm hoping for a float at EC. All right, we got a float, so we got one, two out of the pieces of the puzzle. No, it looks like it's going to be a Dragon Mega Ray deck, which, you know what? I'm fine with that because, obviously, we got my boy Sally, which is going to come in clutch. And, alright, so I'm pretty comfortable about this matchup, as long as, you know, he plays a bunch of the X's down, like the last guy who played the Mega Ray, then I'm fine. But that is two Mega Ray decks I've run into so far, so that's interesting. I don't know why everyone's playing Mega Ray, but, cool. Alright, he grabs Hoopa, hey, you know what, that counts as an EX Pokemon, and that grabs you more EX's, which counts for BC Fang. I don't know, maybe he's expecting me to play, like, Mega Salamence Garbodor? Probably thrown off by the Espeon, though. <laughs> I don't know. But we'll see what he grabs with Hoopa. Probably gonna grab... Okay. A Rayquaza and a Shaman. All those EXs, Salamence just eats up and adores them. So. Or, you know, actually, we might be able... Nah, but he might bring up a Shaman. I was thinking maybe, like, a Scape Rope and, like, force him to bring up a Rayquaza. But he'll bring up Shaman, most likely, to sacrifice that. Which, I mean, knocking out Hydreigon is pretty big, too. Because that thing gets in the fear tree in the first place, so. That's fine. I mean, this hand is really good. So, it is all good in the hood. I mean, he's got 5 EXs in place, so basically Fang is doing a lot of damage. There's a double dragon going on. We don't play any way to get rid of that, so that's going to stay on there until we knock it out. Lysander is in our discard. Dang it, dude. If we had a sick, if we, not a sick if we had a good old DCE, that would have been perfect, but unfortunately we don't. Okay, there is the DC we need. Okay. He hasn't discarded any fires, no he has. Yikes. So I'm gonna get rid of Karen and Float. And I'm gonna grab Shabe. I'll grab Shaman here. We'll set up a bit and try and get more Pokemon in play. So let's go with Trainer's Mail and just burn it, I guess. Um we could play Escape Rope, but I honestly I feel like knocking a Hydreigon is important. Again, he would just bring up Shaman. Which, I'd rather him keep that on his bench, you know what I mean? So, there's no point in grabbing the escape rope, I don't think. Okay, there is a Tauros and a Lugia. We can play down both of these. We can retreat the Trubbish into Salamence. And I guess we'll just do Beastly Fang and knock him out for a ton of damage. One, 270, sorry, not 170. So, 270 damage, taken out of Salamence. And there is Garbodor, another energy. I don't like seeing all these energies in my hand. So, I might have to do Kyuki next turn. We'll see, though. He's going to bring a Hoopa, so he's probably going to sacrifice that. But, I mean, at that point, we just have to knock out one more EX, and that's the game. So, there's a Double Dragon on that Rayquaza. Okay. And, I guess, an Ultra Ball. All right. He might, honestly, I think he's just going to, like, Mega Evolve, end his turn, and then just sacrifice the uh, Hoopa, which I'm fine with. Unless, we, if we top deck a, a Lysander, that'd be cool. So, no, just a pass. There's a Max Elixir. I'm going to Ultra Ball away Kyuki and Fire. So we're knocking him out, and let's. Just... Oh, the other side was surprised. That's right, dang it. We'll just grab a Tauros. I'm not gonna need Tauros at all. I don't think I'm gonna need any more of these because we're probably gonna get one shot most of the time. So we'll just build build up Lugia because I mean this thing is gonna have a lot of energy on it. So maybe we can just build up a crazy Lugia play too. All right, there's Max Elixir which does hit. And let's go Sycamore. Let's try to find some goodies. 
escape rope, but you're gonna bring out Shaman. So we'll belt Lugia. Oh yeah, yeah, this is real. I really want Salamence because that thing is kind of scary. He just needs one more energy because he already has four on it. I mean, I could like escape rope into Lugia and just arrow ball, but I don't even think that's worth it. Like, I may as well just try and knock out that thing for big damage. I don't know. Maybe we might get into two. I kind of regret this now. We weren't not going to have the Mega Ray until we QQ'd him anyway. So there's Lysander. Alright, so if we do not... I mean, we already have a Lysander. So if all we need is a Via Seeker and, like, a DC, we win the game. If he doesn't end us here, we win. All we got to do is just deep hurricane that Shaman or BC Fangin. Dang, so we've got a lot of energy on Lugia would eat that. But no, just a Dragon Scent. So we win the game. There you go. And Lugia, I does not come out, but what Lugia does not kill is Shaman on the bench. So there you go. I mean, there we go. So let's DC the Lug. We'll go with Lysander. We'll bring out that Shaman EX and let's go for Deep Hurricane, knocking it out, winning the game. Pretty quick game. Salamence slept early on, and then we were able to just take the rest of the prizes with my boy Lugia. So that was a good game. And let's see, what do we get out of this box? No, just a tournament ticket, man. But we do get a daily Evo done, which is cool, so there you go, I was looking for that. We got a notification. Alright, someone is messaging me, but I can't reply to that in the middle of the video. So, let's find it, guys, let's find another game with our deck after those two Mega Ray games. And we'll see, is it going to be Mega Ray again, or not? We'll see, maybe, I hope, maybe it's the other Mega Ray. So it looks like we're playing against Laurentis. Alright. Laurentis Falcon? Fine by me. Salamence kind of out of the game. Maybe, ooh, might be just situated. This is where the Espeon can come in handy, so let's flip the coin. We win it, alright, that's cool, because uh, if it is, like, either, well, even, either way, we, we need to try and get, like, a turn to Garbodor, so that's fine, but we get a pretty dumb hand. If the other Shaman's prize, this hand is going to be awful, unless we top deck, like, a Sycamore in an end or something, this hand would actually be decent, but if not, this hand is pretty uh, dreadful, I am not going to lie to you. So, top deck, it's got to either be, like, a Sycamore, like, an end or something to make up, because... If that, I mean, if we do, that's this hand gets ten times better. But if not, then this hand is gonna be brutal, especially if the last shaman is prized. So that could be bad. So let's see. So it is gonna be Laurentius Bob Plume. So let's Ultra Ball away Salamence and Lysander. My opponent's broken heart too. Don't really know what's going on there. We'll grab Shaman. And I guess we'll Ultra Ball away the fire and the escape rope. And grab Trub. And then we can set up for six, I guess. So that seems fine by me. So we'll play down the Trubbish. We'll play down a float. We'll go with Shaman. We'll set up for a total of six cards. Can we find like a Tauros and then maybe like stall into Tauros? I mean, when I said that, I didn't want to get a hand like this. But can I get a rip in the chat? I right, just pass. I'm gonna say frown. I don't, I don't know. <laughs> Maybe my opponent said something, so I might as well say something to him. All right, if he gets turned with vile plume, that could be bad. But yeah, this hand sucks. We ultra balls away an ultra ball and a weakness policy. Okay. Maybe he'll, I'm hoping he ends me, man. I mean, he might not because he probably is like, oh, we didn't get any supporters. Why would I end him? But I'm honestly hoping he ends me. This hand sucks. This hand sucks. <laughs> we have no garbodors. We have no outs. Nothing. Hand, I mean, we have a lot of energy, which I guess is something, but it ain't anything we need. So he does play down a Shaman, but I don't really expect him to play too many Shamans down, or any Yaxes for that matter, unless he plays Trevenant, but even then, Beastly Fang for 110 isn't the greatest. So he does end me. This dude is the MVP of the hour. Nice. Can this end give me a good hand? That's, like, even worse. Wow. I honestly, I prefer the last hand over this hand, because this hand is just a bunch of items. Okay, so actually, he does give, alright, this is fine, he does give us a free turn to do whatever, which I think, I'm just gonna knock out a Vile Plume with, might as well. Oh, really? Alright, at least we can put a belt on, but yeah, this hand is brutal. Might as well just take out Oddish. I mean, we could knock out his active, I guess, but... 
He's already got four four mantis in play. Uh, there's like really no points. So let's just horn attack and knock him out. Take out the Oddish, I guess. I mean, it's the best thing I can do. All right, can we get us N or something? A Salamence. It's something, but it ain't anything we need since we're never really going to need to use basically Fang this game. Which, yeah. Uh, so he does play down the Lorantis. But if he attacks me, then we can Rage. And then at one point we can Mad Bull. He has no grass in his discard, does he? No, right? That's fine. Toros can't really do too much, though, right now, unfortunately. So I'm doing 40 at most. So Mad Bull won't even knock him out. Which is also kind of bad. But we do have extra HP, so we can't... I mean, he could do Chlorosyph. 150, 40, 190. No, we, we would survive. So, no, just a Flower Spell. Alright, he has no energy to discard, which is good. So, we don't have to worry about any Chlorosyph. We're getting energy. This is bad, but... We, we actually have to use Salamence right now, because we are not drawn into anything. I may as well just... Knock out another... Or Mantis. I could attack him too. Because 120. I don't see him knocking me out with Chlor. Oh, I don't want to do this. But. Uh, we got. Alright, we'll, we'll just knock out a thing. I'm not going to knock out that one, obviously. Uh, just because I don't want to get more energy in this discard pile. So let's just Horn Attack and knock out this Four Mantis. And kind of just threaten Mad Bull, I guess. Alright, there's another Tauros, which is cool. That's fine. More attackers, but I would, uh, I mean, this hand is fine, I guess, unless he ends me again. So, Revitalizer. So, we'll see if he can get a Vileplume. I don't think he can get Vileplume. Obviously, we do have a Trubbish chilling on the bench with a float, and he passes. So, yeah, he realizes that, hey, I don't want to walk into any Mad Bulls. So, we'll put a DCE on the Tauros. And I think I'm just going to Horn Attack him. I might as well just, I mean, I could have Lysander something, but I may as well just Horn Attack be like, hey, you know what, if you're not going to attack me, I'm going to three-shot you and win that way, so. Yeah, I mean, if he gets Bob Plume in play, there you go. Maybe, okay, if he gets Bob, not play, all right, so fine by me. That is not fine by me. So I'm just going to be a Seeker for Lysander. It could help us down the road in case if he got Bob Plume playing, like, retreated, we wouldn't be able to knock him out next turn. So we might as well do that. Horn Attack, 70. Setting the thing up for knockouts. This way it's like, hey, you know what? Some of you get Valplume and you retreat and you want your Lorantis to live. We'll still get Lysander and knock it out, so I'm fine with that. So it's all good in the hood. But we do need something. So there is a Professor Sycamore. He's gonna get rid of Vileplume and a weakness policy. So he does get something, but it still doesn't mean he gets energy in play in his discard. Right, he can't knock me out Chlorosite because of the belt. The belt is saving us right now. So there is an Acrobite. We'll see. Can he get Vileplume going? Vileplume. It wouldn't be the worst. Worst thing in the world, but yeah, our top decks are dead right now. We've played down both shamans. We're in top deck mode. I mean, we 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 have two attackers right now. One attacker that's not doing much, but another attacker that's okay. So he does attack me. So all right. How much HP? One forty. But he could chlorocyte me. Eesh. Hmm. I wish Horn Attack was knocking him out here, because then we could Mad Bull GX and down the road. We could still do Mad Bull GX anyway, so it's not the end of the world. We'll knock him out, I guess. I get something worse thing. So yeah, we'll take two prizes. Going down to two, we got another Trubbish, Espeon. Espeon is okay. It would be great in that situation, because then we could just de-evolve his Lorantis, and then, yeah. So maybe Espeon could be a cool trump card if he knocks us out here. We're, we're probably going to get knocked out. Uh, he's only played one Lorantis, right? Alright, never mind. There you go. So he's gonna probably just knock us out. Chlorocytes GX. And then we can, you know, we can horn attack him a bit. And then at some point, oh, actually we gotta horn attack him once. And then we can play Espeon down. And then have it be like a cool trump card. So we'll go that route. So we got Lorantis. Got that rainbow rare Lorantis. Okay. Rainbow rare versus rainbow rare. So can he get Vileplume to play, though? He's discarded at least one Vileplume, and I haven't seen anything else, so... And he had a Sycamore, man, that is brutal. He's gonna have the Chlorocyte me to knock me out, though, because we do have 140 HP, so Solar Blade won't quite knock us out. So, yeah, he's gonna have the Chlorocyte, though, which I'm, I'm fine with him using up his GX attack on this Tauros. So, another Lorantis. Can he get the Vileplume to play? I'm gonna be a little sad if he does, but if he doesn't, then I'm gonna be fine. So he trains me out for Lysander, I mean... Uh, could Lysander me next turn take out Shaman? So he actually passes. Hmm. Okay. 
Fine by me. Fine by me. Uh, this is perfect. I'll just Ultra Ball for Garb. And we'll play the Garb down. So now we have that Vile Plume. And yeah, I think we'll just Mad Bull GX him. I'm really surprised he did that. I don't really know why he didn't just knock me out, but I'm not going to complain. We win the game. Wasn't even paying attention. I thought we, uh, we were at four prize, but we win the game, so it doesn't matter. 25 coins. Rip the double coin thing, so. Yeah, it was weird, but hey, you know what? It's a win. Win is a win. So, yeah, there you go. So, see you guys in another game, I guess. All right, here we go, guys. Let's find another match with our Salamence, Tauros, and Dick. And let's see. Can we please play against, like, Darkrai or something? I really want to test this out on Darkrai. I'm getting tired of not running into any Darkrai decks. But we're playing against an all-psychic deck. So, okay. I don't know what to expect here. Um, but as long as he's got all these EXs so we can use BC Fang, then I am happy. So, his name's Tony Starks, too. So, we do win the coin flip, which could be good. We can maybe do Garbodor. I don't know if he plays Garbodor or not. I mean, if he doesn't, that's fine. So, what is his hand gonna be? Get a Lugia start. Okay, that's fine. Now, Lugia and Tauros are probably two of your best Pokemon to start. Because they can attack right away, right? Alright, so let's find out what kind of Psychic deck this is. It could be Mewtwo. I mean, he has a Mewtwo coin, so it makes sense. Alright, it looks like it is, so let's just DC this thing. Let's go with the trainer's mail, see what we can find. Get a skull grunt. I guess we're not gonna play it. But we could. Uh I don't really see a point though, if I'm gonna be quite honest with you. Might as well just attack with Lugia. Like there's really no point going with Skull Grunt. So let's find out what do we get. Alright, we actually get three good cards. So as long as his max elixir hits, I'm actually really happy about this. So Max Elixir, are you gonna hit? or not it does a hey, my boy so we can fire energy the salamence and pass and then next turn we can arrow ball him build up our salamence with beast and fang and go from there so that is good in the hood and as long as he just plays much vx down he probably plays hoopa for the mewtwo i saw a, i know like a mewtwo shattershot deck did good which it looks like this is what he's playing but i mean shattershot mewtwo garbador with no mewtwo wise I don't really know how I feel about that deck. It's an interesting idea, I'm not gonna lie, but I don't know. I don't know how to feel about that. So we see the Ultra Ball for my opponent. Probably, probably just gonna grab another Mewtwo, getting rid of a Psychic and a Delinquent. Ooh, we are in Delinquent range. So he grabs Hoopa, be my guest. Be my guest. I know he doesn't run Shaman because he had a pure Psychic deck, so I know for a fact this dude does not run any Shaman in his deck, so we do have to watch out for that. So there is the Hoopa. And he's probably just gonna grab more Mewtwo's. So he does run Mewtwo Y, but he put a belt on his active, which is very suspicious. But be my guest, please play all those EXs down for Salamence. So I will love you if you do. So just a psychic on his Mewtwo. Mewtwo. Will he play down another Mewtwo? Thank you! I mean we could escape rope knock him out. Or he'll team flare on me. Rolling my eyes. Okay, so what do we get? Alright, an Ultra Ball. I guess we'll end him. I know he only has two cards. Somebody's texting me. Uh, I know he only has two cards, but still. There's a Ninja Boy. Ooh, we might Ninja Boy him. If we didn't have the Taurus in our hand. So, let's float that. And let's just Arrow Ball. I mean, we could Ninja Boy him next turn. If the other Tauros is in our deck, then we will Ninja Boy next turn. And then go from there. I guess so we see a male he won't be able to mega evolve this thing straight away without his turn ending so that's a good sign i need to go get my phone on my bed because i need to see my friend text me so i'll be right back you know my bed is right beside my computer okay there we go how to get my phone because my friend texted me so there is verse seeker this kid is oh my god why do you play that garbage <sighs> we're still one shot and with salamence but uh, god why Hey, look at that. Okay, so we can't get our boys back. So we can get the two DCs back, which is good. And I guess we'll play down Tauros and I just go Sycamore. And let's see. I kind of want... Okay, oh, do we not mount? Are we not going to mount? 140. No, we're not going to mount. God, stupid team player cards. God, I hate that card. Let's Ultra Ball. Get rid of Lugia and, and I guess we'll just dig for Shaman. 
before. We'll, grab, we'll try and get an escape rope or something. Uh, let's just nest ball and not grab anything. And let's plop down Shaman. Because if we arrow ball, we're not knocking him out because he has 140 HP. Alright. I mean, I guess. I guess we'll get damage on him. He could damage change me. But then we can just knock him out Salamence next turn. So let's just hit him with arrow ball. I know we don't knock him out. But that is fine. I mean, maybe he doesn't find energy and shadow shocks me because he does do 90. We'll see if he damage changes or not. Damage change won't really help his case that much either. So I guess we'll see what happens. Had to text my friend there. And there you go. So uh, he might even just pass his turn and just mega evolve, which he might do one on the bench if he finds me to spirit link. Those team flare guns are a little annoying. We probably would have knocked him out by now if he didn't play those team flare guns, but he does, so it is what it is. But hey, you know what? We managed to get the special charge at like the perfect time too, so that's fine. Is oh my god, don't tell me you're gonna do that again. This dude is starting to get on my nerves. Okay, DCE and damage change. Okay. We have a DC in our hands, so doesn't help your case there, bud. Uh, we could maybe via Seeker and Team Skullgrunt him, which, sure. Hmm. We could even Ninja Boy into Tauros if there's one in our deck. And then hit him with Rage, and then Mad Bull something. That actually isn't a bad idea. Let's do that. Hopefully Tauros is in the deck. Fingers crossed. It is. Okay. We'll just bring out Tauros instead. I swear to God, though, if he team flirts with me again, I am going to cry. So yeah, let's just rage and knock him out. And then we'll Mad Bull GX whatever he brings out and knock it out. Plus we're still doing 190. So let's see. Can we find anything? Okay, via Seeker and then Rope. Those are two cards I actually wanted. If this kid team flirts me, though, one more time, I am going to cry. But if he doesn't, then we will Mad Bull GX knock this thing out and then go from there. So seems like a good play. Plus we even have a via Seeker, so... We can dig, I guess. So, Fisherman, that is not Team Skullgrun. Also, he can't knock me out with Shadow Shot. We have 60 HP, so it would take two Shadow Shots to knock me out. But he's going to put energy on the bench and pass. Do we have a Lysander in our discard? I don't think we do. No, we don't. Alright. I guess we're just going to have to... We could even rope, but then you just bring up Hoopa. I don't, honestly, I don't mind taking out this Mewtwo. We'll grab Lugia. Actually, no, we won't. I actually kind of want to keep Lugia, if I'm gonna be quite honest with you. So, let's just via Seeker for Sycamore. I don't know if he has a Mewtwo in his hand, though. He didn't evolve last turn, so we might be lucky here. So, let's go with Sycamore. Okay. We actually not... Okay, let's do this instead. We actually can just rope into Salamence. And then hit him with Beastly Fang. And then knock him out that way, and then keep this guy. So, that seems fair by me. So, let's bring out the Salamence. Let's put the DCE on it. And this is Beastly Fang. For a knockout. And yeah, we can take two prizes. We're not going to be doing as much damage with Beastly Fang anymore because we took out an EX, but that's fine. Tauros is still still on the bench. If he has a Psychic and a Lysander, I'm going to be pretty sad. But if he doesn't, then I'm good. So he plays a Shrine of Memories down. See another, see another Psychic going on. And a Sycamore. So that basically means we win the game. Because then, obviously, we can hit with Tauros. Uh, one DC, two DC. How many DCs are left? Alright, so we'd have one left, too. So there's Trainer's Mail. I don't know if he plays Enhanced Hammer or not. That could honestly be a huge thing. So he just grabs a Via Seeker for Team Skullgrunt. Or not Team Skullgrunt, Team Flare Gun. But he can't do that anymore. So that's ripped out of the question. But you can kind of see this deck, right? Okay, there you go. He just passes. And we win the game. So yeah, we can just retreat. Bring up Tauros. And then Mad Bull GX him. We might as well just take the huge damage knockout, why not? And yeah, you can kind of see this deck. You got the wall for Tauros. You got the Salamence option, which could do a lot of damage with Beastly Fang in the right matchups. I wanted to play against Darkrai, but we couldn't find a game against Darkrai, which sucks. But what the, can you do? But you know what is good with this situation? We can open up a pack of cards. So yeah, let's buy a pack here from the store. Uh, did, it, did my trade go through on pubs? Hey, it did. Nice. Okay, so I got me a Dragonite. Nice. I was looking for one. I need one Dragonite. So that's cool. 
that is cool. A little bit of a pack, and then end the video off. You can kind of see this deck. You got Salamence as like a nice other attacker to do big damage to those EX face decks. You got Tauros, which you can use as like a little wall. You have Lugia, which you can kind of use to like put some pressure on with Arrow Bomb and Deep Hurricane. Espeon. We didn't get to show off Espeon, unfortunately, which I really would have liked to have done, but we really couldn't find any like evolution based decks, which is a bit of a bummer, but it is what it is. But hey, you know what? You have Espeon too, so it's a pretty cool deck. You guys can try it out. Tell me how you do. Get a Metal Energy. How many of these do we have? Ten. Wow. So let's see. Do we get a GX? We get a Vikavolt. I'm fine with that. We can trade off a Vikavolt. Probably, like, maybe get a pack out of it. So there you guys go. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you enjoyed, hit the like button. Don't forget to subscribe for more PPCGO content. And, uh, yeah. See you guys later. Help me on the road to 2k subs. Hit the like. Comment down below what you think of the deck. Comment down below what you think of anything in general. Kappa Ross. And I'll see you guys on another video. Peace out.